Sapnal. Today we are going to cover an important topic of uh, networking and we are going to implement it in Cisco Packet Tracer and uh, it is virtual uh, LANs and uh, we are going to implement the inter-virtual um, LAN routing uh, using Cisco Packet Tracer. And uh, uh, the next thing um, is what is a VLAN? VLANs uh, basically allow the network administrators to automatically limit, limit access to a particular uh, group of users uh, by dividing the workstations into different isolated LAN segments. Basically, a physical LAN is divided into uh, a group of uh, segments uh, and these are virtual LANs because physically the LAN exists and we have virtually divided the LAN into uh, different segments and uh, these VLANs have similar characteristics as that of a physical LAN and um, they are actually configured on switches and uh, we uh, place some interfaces into one broadcast domain and the other interfaces into another broadcast domain. For uh, today's Cisco Packet, tut uh, packet Tracer tutorial, uh, we will create two virtual LANs, uh, namely VLAN 10 and 20 um, on a switch and then finally we are going to enable uh, routing uh, so that we can uh, communicate between the two VLANs. So uh, we will have four PCs, uh, we'll create two VLANs, uh, a switch and finally a router to enable routing between the two VLANs. So we are here going to create our topology, we will add four PCs. And as I told you previously that the first two PCs would be part of VLAN 10 and the last two PCs they would be the part of VLAN 20. So as I have highlighted here uh, the first two PCs and the last two PCs VLAN 10 VLAN 20 are two VLANs and then we are going to add our switch uh, which is uh, this first one uh, 2960 and finally we're going to add our router uh, to enable inter uh, VLAN routing. The router would be this last one, uh, 2811. And we have added these. Uh, now we are going to add the connections. And for connection, we are uh, going to go to this, uh, uh, the dotted one, uh, this one, uh, the copper straight through cable, uh, fast ethernet 0 to our uh, interface 0 slash 1. And the same, I'm going to connect the copper straight through cable for our PC2 of VLAN 10 uh, using interface 0 slash 2 of our switch. Uh, the first PC, the third PC, uh, which is, uh, uh, would be connected uh, to fast ethernet and the port would be uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 3, the interface. And finally, we are going to connect our PC fast ethernet 0 to our switch using the interface 0 slash 4. Now to connect with our router, we are again going to select the copper straight through cable from our uh, interface 0 slash 5 of switch to the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of our router. Now our topology is complete. Configure our first PC. Uh, we are now going to give it an IP address of 192.168.1.10. So so this is the first we, uh, PC which is the part of VLAN 10 and we are going to give it a gateway of 192.168.1.1. We are now going to close it and we are going to our second PC of VLAN 10. Then we will go to desktop and IP configuration 192.168.10. Sorry, .1.20. Then the subnet mask and the same gateway 192.168.1.1. Now the first PC of VLAN 20, desktop IP configuration 192.168.2.20.10, sorry this is the first PC and the default gateway would be 192.168.2.2. .2. So here we are going to go give a different gateway for uh, VLAN 20. Similarly we are going to go to the last PC of our VLAN 20. Desktop IP, IP configuration 192.168.2.20 and then the subnet mask and finally the default gateway would be 192.168.2.2. Now that uh, we are done with the settings, we are now going to the switch uh, and the VLAN configuration uh, would be done on the switch in the CLI and I'm going to maximize it. Uh, you can say that uh, here I'm going to press enter 
then I am <coughs> going to type enable then I am going to type config terminal to make myself do all the configurations and here um, I told you that I'm going to configure to LAN so I'm going giving the name VLAN 10 and uh, VLAN 20 um, uh, to the these VLANs and uh, if you want to give them any name say uh, for VLAN 10 I want to give it uh, the name uh, for example uh, HR so I'm going to type name HR so it name would be HR and for VLAN 20 the other LAN, um, I'm going to give it the name of uh, name space uh, IT uh, if I want to, so I can do it. So after that, uh, the most important thing that we have to do, we are going to do configurations and for that, uh, for that purpose, we have to assign the ports. We have to configure ports. So there are two types of ports um, that we have to uh, configure for VLANs um, and we are going to uh, now assign switch ports, uh, access port and trunk port. Basically uh, access port uh, as the name suggests, uh, when you want to connect um, switch with uh, the PCs in a network then you give or assign access port and if you want to connect multiple devices over a network for example uh, um, a router and a switch then you use trunk port so here uh, here I'm going to uh, start uh, and uh, I would start assigning assigning ports and for that purpose first I will give interface uh, 0 slash 1 if you remember interface 0 slash 1 is uh, for the first PC of um, VLAN 10, uh, the upper two PCs. So I'm first going to uh, configure that and I will give the command switch port and space mode space access because this is the PC. So I'll go give mode access and then I'm going to write switch port uh, port space access space VLAN space 10. So here uh, I'm telling that uh, I want to uh, make uh, this uh, the FA0 interface FA01 the part of uh, uh, our uh, VLAN uh, and uh, the VLAN is VLAN 10. Same for the other interfaces I'm going to give uh, int FA0 slash uh, 2 then I'm going to repeat the same switch port access uh, switch port mode access then switch port access VLAN 10. Then I'm going to configure uh, my third interface which is now I'm going to give the same thing switch port mode access but here switch port access VLAN I will give 20 because the third, third PC or interface 0 slash 3 is in uh, VLAN 2 that is VLAN 20. Now I'm going to configure this fourth uh, interface this is again um, I'm going to give switch port mode access and then I would tell which VLAN, it is VLAN 20. Switch port, po port access VLAN 20. Now, I'm going to interface uh, 5. If you remember, the interface 5 was the one between the switch and the router. So here, things would be uh, different. Uh, here, I'm going to give switch port mode trunk. Okay, so I told you before that we are going to give mode trunk uh, for the interface where uh, you want to connect different uh, devices of a network, say a router, a switch, a hub or a router and so on. So we are going to give switch for port mode trunk for interface 05 because it was the interface which was connected to our route. Now that we have uh, connected these uh, PCs with the switch, uh, we are now going to check that whether uh, these two VLANs can communicate with each other or no. So I'm going to go here and here um, in the desktop, I will go to command prompt and I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to ping PING space 192.168.2.1. If you remember, it was the PC, the last PC uh, with an IP address of uh, 2.20, uh, which is the part of another VLAN. And we are now um, pinging it from VLAN 10. So let's see what's the reply. So it's now pinging. 
and the most probably the request is going to timed out why because of the fact that we haven't configured vlan routing or inter vlan routing uh, between these uh, vlans uh, and we have to done it on our router so on switch we have enabled and configured routing but to communicate between the two networks or the two vlans um, we have to use uh, router and we have to tell the router that how we are going to perform this internet VLAN routing. So in order to enable uh, inter VLAN routing we are now going to double click our router and here we are going to give go to CLI and we are going to type no here then enter again we are going to type EN to enable configuration then conf T or configure terminal to start configuring. And here, first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to type FA 0 slash 0. If you remember, this is the interface uh, of our router when we connected the switch and the router. So the interface towards the router was FA 0 slash 0. Before that, we are going to type int, enter. Now, we are going to type no shutdown to make sure that our router is turned on properly. Its state is set to up. And we are now going to press enter. And now we are going to go to again interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 10 to configure inter VLAN routing on our uh, first uh, VLAN that was VLAN 10. And then what we are going to do we are going to type encapsulation space dot 1q it is the standard which has been developed to enable inter VLAN route. So standard order protocol. So we are going to type 10 because we want to configure inter VLAN routing for our VLAN 10, the first LAN. And we are going to give IP add 192.168.1.1. If you remember, that was the defa default gateway that we gave for the first two PCs that were the part of VLAN 10. So this is the default gateway to tell our router that how to uh, actually route information. So we have now configured our VLAN, configured our VLAN 10. Next we are going to configure our VLAN 20. So we are going to type int fa0 slash 0.20, press enter, enter again. Then we are going to type encapsulation.1q space 20 for our VLAN 20. Yes, then we are going to give IP add, now we are going to give the default gateway that we gave for our PCs uh, that were part of VLAN 20 and it was 192.168.0.0 and this is the submissed mask. So here we have actually configured inter VLAN routing. So as uh, we, you have seen that we have already configured inter VLAN routing and these um, basically interfaces are, have turned green as well. So let's go to this PC and try to ping uh, the same PC again um, which was one uh, ping space 192.168.2.20. Let's see what response we get. You can see that we are getting reply from 192.168.2.20. Previously, before configuring VLAN routing, when we tried to ping 192.168.2.20, we received this timeout error. So you can clearly see that we have to configure VLAN routing on our router. And um, this uh, particular router is uh, also known as router on a stick because uh, it basically uh, works only for configuring uh, inter VLAN routing and I hope that uh, this lab and this um, video was useful for you.